Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in uh, OpenCV library. So that is uh, image properties. So what are the properties of an image and how can we get the details? So first let me explain about the syntaxes and then we'll move on to the implementation. So the topic is image properties. So the first one is in order to get the shape, shape, right? So in order to get the shape, the syntax is image dot shape. It will give the shape of an image, of an image. So it will return, it will return width, the width of an image, height of an image and channels. So it will give this one, it will give this one, height, width, height and channels. And here the channels represents the color channels. Okay, here the channels are the color channels, color channels, right? So if it is a RGB, if it is a RGB image, if it is a RGB image, it will be having three channels. So one is for red channel, two, so one is for green channel, and one is for blue channel okay and an image any image any image color image any color image right any color image can have up to 56 channels up to 56 channels right and this is for only rgb image rgb image and if it is a grayscale image, okay, if it is a grayscale image, grayscale image, so it will be also having the three channels, but, but the red is equal to green is equal to blue. All three channels will be having the same values, right? So that we call it as a grayscale. And then second property is size, size right so it will give the syntax is image dot size so it will return return total number of pixels in the image it will give a total number of pixels in the image see here uh, let us move on to the example we'll take the example so first let us import the cv2 and then we have to read the image. So img is equal to cv2 dot im read. So give the path of the image, exact location of the image. So I'm having this one. So I'll take this one. So go to the properties so that you will getting the path, exact path. So just copy the path and uh, give the path here, give in double quotations. And uh, so just remember, the path should contain double slashes double slashes okay so if it is a single slash it will be treated as a escape sequence now take the properties so print print img dot shape it will give the shape of the image similarly print img dot size okay so here see shape of an shape of image is image dot shape size of image is give the size if you execute this one see the shape of image is 600 1200 three channels size of the image is some uh, 21 lakh 60 thousand so total number of pixels available in that particular image is 21,060, sorry, 21,60,000. And see, you can observe shape of the image. The first one is the width. Second one is the height, right? So you can observe here. See, it is a 600 by, sorry, 1200 by 600 image. Sorry, width and height. Width and height. 
So with this 1200, 600 is height. So you can observe the dimensions. Okay, you can observe the dimensions. Uh, See so here, here itself you are getting the dimensions. See, right? so here itself you are getting the tooltip, and in the tooltip you can get the dimensions. Twelve thousand into six hundred. That means width is twelve twelve thousand, and six hundred is the height. Okay, that's what we got. Okay, but here uh, we are getting the result as a height and width. Okay, height and width. It will return height and width. Height is six hundred, and width is twelve hundred. Okay, small uh, correction. So here you can see. First, it it was printing a height, and the second way it was printing width. Okay, it will return height, width, and channels. So there are three channels here, three channels here. Okay, so hope you understood. These two are the properties of an image. So getting the shape of the image as well as size of the image. So size of the image means total number of pixels. Total number of pixels, twenty one lakh sixty thousand. Right. So hope you understood this one. And if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching. Thank you very much.